Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to another new vlog filming with my fisheye today because my wrist is completely broken somehow. I don't know what's going on. It's probably for my big wide angle. Anyway, today I'll be talking about some high-end electric skateboards but I'm gonna start off with this Chinese brand right here. I know it's just like another iron board and so on, but it has a reason that I'm talking about it. It's actually just $400. I checked out every brand that's making this exact same board. So this one is the cheapest, it's $400. The brand itself also has like batteries online, but it's more like for the Meepo board copy. This is pretty much like the new Meepo board. That's like how I would call it. But yeah, charged it completely up, but I'm not gonna film like a whole range test today because I, I feel like the range on this board is actually pretty good. It's also super fast. I'm probably gonna wear a helmet today, probably. And uh, yeah, it looks fast. Wait, I gotta check it again, the specs. But yeah, this is pretty much an iron board X just like for $400. And the Meepo board copy is actually super cheap. It's just $239. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I don't know if it's like the concave board or not. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't check it yet. But yeah, today is about this board right here. This is actually called Timo. Timo, Timo board. Yeah, I know, another Chinese brand. But who cares? At least they make cheap boards. And I actually know how to make stuff like this by myself now. It's it's really easy to make. Well, this is not what I'm going for, definitely not. Well, in the box itself, there's nothing else. We just have like the cable. We have a normal remote control. Actually, just charge it up. Yeah, nothing special. And we have a little bubble here, but that doesn't matter. But yeah, just a cable. We got a tool as well. When that company sent me an email, I was like, oh my God, the specs and everything is completely wrong on this website. They say this is like two pounds or something. I'm always feeling super bad about this. I'm not trying to expose anyone here. <laughs> this is exactly six kilos. That's actually around 12 pounds, I think. It's light. I didn't expect that. It's, that's cool. Yeah, like I said, the specs and everything are completely wrong, but there's nothing wrong with this skateboard right here. I think it's actually great. And now, let's go for a test ride. Let's go. My first impression, it's kind of laggy. I don't know what's going on. Like, I had that problem with other cheap boards before as well. So when you go full speed sometimes, it looks, it feels like it's like losing the speed or something. It's just like kind of stopping or something. It's just not clean or I don't know what's going on. All right, I would say let's go to my favorite hill. On the website, they say the board has 30 degrees. That's obviously a riding mistake. It's probably like 30% or 25 to 30%. So when I go downhill, I'm completely stopping it right now. It's pretty fast. So the brakes are not strong when you go downhill. But like when you go full speed and you use the brakes, they're pretty strong. They're good for me though. It's just like, I think it's good to know. So this is a 15 degrees heel. That's around 25%. And um, I think the board is doing pretty good. Damn, it's getting up. It's better than land wheel, better than hue board when it comes to uphill. And, and they're both like a thousand dollars. And this one is $400 and you're still getting up. Of course, you're super slow, but the other boards are like a thousand dollars. So huge difference there. And uh, yeah, overall the board feels good. I was liking the iron board as well, so no big deal. Also need to say, on the website they say it goes 28 miles per hour. It's definitely not that fast. I think it's around 20 to 22 miles per hour. Definitely not more. So when you go downhill and you're not using the brakes like this, and then you're using it like fully, it's just like a little strong. Especially when you go straight, but uh, it's all good it's all good i like that board and i think the price is really good 400 dollars well you probably gotta add the shipping hey now it's like completely it's trying to stop <laughs> I decided to go back home. My wrist is like super swollen right now. Don't know what's going on. Anyway, do I recommend the Timo board? It's difficult to say. I really thought about it for a long time. It has 238 watt hours, which is, which is actually insane. So there's nothing wrong with this board. So the website itself is super weird. So all the specs and everything is completely wrong. Like I, I don't even know where to start. So they need to fix that. The people at Timo itself, they're actually super cool. They get, they, they get back to you super fast. 
Um, I had some shipping problems, like I got the money in like within like two hours or something. Super cool people. There was definitely something wrong with my board. It was some kind of laggy or something. I don't know, it was like stopping full speed and whatever. But so yeah, overall, I gotta say there's definitely nothing wrong with this board. The wheel quality is super good. I mean, just after riding um, after one time, I can already say there's nothing wrong with this board. And for $390, this is actually pretty amazing. Well, I gotta say, they definitely will add the shipping. It probably depends on where you're living at. It's definitely like a hidden price. It could be around $150 actually. So there are some brands who sell the boards for like $500, but you have some shipping included or you have something included. So I'm not sure how expensive this board is um, at the manufacturer. I know that I could easy, easy, easy sell this board on my own website. But yeah, that's, um, yeah, let's, let's go for something else now. <laughs> so today I also want to talk about some high-end electric skateboards. I recently came across Trampa electric skateboards. Well, they all have one big problem. When it comes to communication, they do not write back. I actually bought the board like a couple days ago. I really want to show you that board because I think it looks amazing. It's like some kind of lowrider style mountain boards, bouncy, pretty cool. Like I have to show you a picture. It's amazing. I do not know if my board is really gonna be in the make or something. I don't know yet if I'm really gonna get the board. So at the end, do I recommend it? Even though it's a great board, even though I will get it one day, it's just like, uh, it's horrible, it's horrible. I almost forgot to tell you about the most amazing part about Trampa. So you can customize pretty much everything. They have like eight types of boards, different batteries, different motors. You can choose in between a long range board or street board, mountain board, big wheels, small wheels, um, different types of wheels everything i have no idea how they're making that i don't know how like where they produce those boards so i guess they're pretty busy i don't know if i'm gonna get a good board i don't know if i don't know what's going on and there's some other part i want to talk about the price so the price is actually pretty good with that board i can't change like this is horrible <laughs> I paid $1,200, which is an amazing price for a board like this. So that's why I'm asking, like, how are they doing it? Like, I, I guess they're, like, assembling the boards in, in England. I, I really don't know. It's amazing. So the next board I want to talk about is Kelly, New York City. And, yeah, you probably have never heard about it as well. Like me, I saw it today for the first time. So I believe Kelly and Trampa work together. You can also fully customize your board. And I believe because of like the battery which make, makes everything bouncy, that's why it's so expensive. It's almost like three times more expensive than the Trampa board. Even though I believe they use the same motors, definitely not the battery. <laughs> so when it comes to the specs, they're actually insane. Top speed of 35 miles per hour and it has a range of 24 miles. Of course, it depends on what battery and uh, motor you choose and so on. So yeah, I think it's an amazing project. I have never heard about them and um, I think it's an amazing company. One problem, it's sold out. Next problem, it's too expensive. But on the other side, you get a really amazing board and I believe that board is gonna hold up forever. But still, I would recommend getting a board from Trampa because they're way cheaper. I don't think it's a problem having that huge battery pack on the back. It makes the boards also not really that heavy and um, trampa is actually six kilos oh that's the next thing. i want to know that <gasps> how heavy is it yeah i can't find anything on cali because it really depends on what you're gonna choose but trampa with my street wheels and everything is gonna be around six kilos but yeah that's pretty much it for today 
I hope you enjoyed today's review and um, yeah, we'll see each other hopefully tomorrow again for another new uh, review probably. <laughs>